Hey guys, Richard Oldner here. I'm at West Tech Performance. We have our 5.3 up on the dyno and we're going to answer the following question. You've got a Trailblazer SS. It's set up for a 90 millimeter throttle body, but like on a cam 5.3, do you really need to run the bigger throttle body? So we'll run it first with a 90 millimeter or 92 millimeter mechanical throttle body. Then we'll put an adapter on it and put the factory truck 78 millimeter throttle body to find out what happens. Okay, guys. Check it out. We got our 5 3 up on the dyno. Then the valve cover. Got our fast throttle body on there. Because it's really sized for the opening on the Trailblazer SS. What we're going to do is put a stock truck throttle body, in fact, this one right out here, on this early truck manifold. We'll put the stock one on there. This fancy unit right here. So we'll put that baby on there. Grab this thing, bring it into the dyno. Take off the throttle body. Use our fancy adapter right over here. Over here. And we'll put on the throttle body. Okay, guys, here's a quick rundown of our 5.3 meter test motor. It was our all aluminum L33 motor I got from the wrecking yard. We had our low buck truck camshaft in it. It came equipped with 799 heads. We did do a valve spring upgrade it so that we could run the camshaft. We ran long tube headers from the dyno that had the nice BTR valve covers on it. We had our Trailblazer SS intake manifold. And to start out with, we had our 92 millimeter fast big mouth throttle body. Obviously, all these things were tuned using a Holly HP, and like everything, we ran a Mazir electric water pump and no accessories, yada, yada, yada. Okay, guys, before we can perform the throttle body swap, we need to make a couple of runs with our Trailblazer SS and the 92 millimeter fast. baby on.
Okay, guys, let's jump right in and take a look at the results of our throttle body test on our Trailblazer SS intake manifold. Remember, we're trying to answer the question, do I need to put the bigger 90 or 92 millimeter throttle body on, on a Trailblazer SS if I upgrade, like, let's say, an early truck intake manifold that would have came, come with a much smaller either drive-by wire or drive-by cable. I just call them manual throttle bodies. Would have been about the same size, but... What happens if I run like, let's say a cammed 5.3 and at that power level, I run the Trailblazer SS, which we know is a good upgrade for intake manifolds. It's probably worth 10, 12, maybe 15 horsepower, depending on what application you're putting it on. So whether you're putting on a 4.8, a 5.3 or a 6.0, putting the intake manifold on is a good idea. But people want to know, well, do I also have to spend the money on putting the bigger throttle body on it? Because the Trailblazer SS comes with an opening that will accept something near 90 millimeters so do i have to put the throttle body on so according to this we'll go ahead and take a look take a look and we can see and we'll zoom in on the power gains here and you can see there was a difference so as you saw in the video what we did was we ran a comparison we'll stop here zoom in on this you can see that there is a power difference so you guys were waiting for the power difference it we made 433.8 horsepower with our 92 millimeter fast at 415.8 foot pounds of torque when we when we swapped over to the smaller stock truck throttle body the early truck throttle body with the ICT billet adapter run in that configuration it made 426.5 horsepower and 411.4 and you can see, and the reason that I zoomed in right here is you can see there's really no difference in power down low. This is very indicative of what happens when we change to a bigger throttle opening, because basically that's what happened here. Is in this case, we restricted it down with the smaller throttle body. But this is always what happens. As we go out in RPM where we need more airflow, the one that offers less airflow becomes more and more restrictive. Now, a lot of guys tend to think, well, how much power will the stock throttle body support? Well, it'll support a lot. I mean, if you're blowing through the turbo on a stock throttle body, you could make more than a thousand horsepower very easily because then it's not a restriction. But when you're drawing through it, like if you were to put the stock throttle body on a big motor making lots of power, or in our case, even one that's making not very much power, it's a little bit restrictive. But if you were to put it on a combination like put the throttle body in front of a big positive displacement blower, it would be re it would reduce the power even more because this is all about airflow. So if we were to run this same test, so we're looking at six or seven horsepower and <clears throat> four or five, six foot pounds of torque, most of it on the top end of the range. In fact, we'll, we'll keep scrolling back out here so you can see the rest of the curve and see what I was talking about, but we only had a little bit of a power change here. What we would expect is if we ran this on let's say a six liter with good heads on it. Maybe you put rec port heads on it. Well, you couldn't do that because we couldn't do the Trailblazer SS. But if you put good cathedral port heads on it and a good camshaft where the six liter might be making 500 or even 550 horsepower and you're trying to run it with a Trailblazer SS and the bigger throttle body, if you went and tried to run the small throttle body, the difference in power that we would see would be even greater because the smaller throttle body, relatively speaking, when we were running it on a combination that makes 100 horsepower more than this test motor, the gains offered by the bigger throttle body would only increase because the smaller throttle body would become more and more restrictive. And the interesting thing on this is we data logged all of this stuff. We ran it with a Holly HP management system, and I'll show you. We ran it with that EFI system. We data logged each one of the runs because we were monitoring the KPA. Basically, we were monitoring um, this would indicate whether we had a restriction. But interestingly enough, we only saw a drop from 96 kPa with the, the 92 millimeter throttle body down to 95 kPa. So we didn't see a big change in indicated from the kPa reading as, as an airflow restriction. I expected there to be more, but we're only talking about six or seven horsepower. We saw a little bit of drop in the KPA reading. Now, for those of you who are thinking, well, it should be 100, Richard, there's a restriction. No, there's not. It, the, the level of wide open throttle is not always like 100 KPA because it depends on the, the sensor and how you have it scaled and stuff. So all of our runs with the bigger throttle body, the most that we ever saw was 96 KPA. And, and when we were running the small throttle, we saw 95 KPA. So the upshot of all of this, yes, 
the small throttle body on a Trailblazer SS, even on just a Cam 5.3, is a little bit restrictive. If you put it on something that makes more power, it's even more restrictive. You can use it. Maybe it's a better way to go because it's a lot less expensive. You already have it. You just buy the ICC billet, but it is going to cost you a little bit of power. Our Richard Holder, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I'll keep testing.